I think the most important thing we tried to achieve was just to do something different. So what was important to me was to basically show people in London that Chinese food isn't necessarily just about you know black bean sauces, neon glowing orange sauces. In general it's going to sound a bit bad but using cheaper ingredients to maximize profit as being the general kind of business model behind a lot of the restaurants. A lot of this is about introducing guests to the wider cuisine in China. You know there's 40 national borders throughout China, 2 point whatever billion population. The cuisine varies massively from region to region and it was just about picking out dishes which I did had or learnt throughout China and introducing them to to our guests. I kind of fell into it by accident more than anything. Um, I enrolled for cooking college as a bit of a joke after I graduated from university and I was prepared to make sacrifices from a very young age to achieve that and going to university regardless of be Oxford or LSE or afterwards at the Westminster Kingsway it was all about knowing what I wanted to achieve and doing whatever I needed to do to achieve it. I don't usually do things half-heartedly, so when I engross myself, we're talking entire engrossing into, into this kind of world that we live in, you know. The, the, the restaurant business is, is massive and, and multi-faceted in many ways, and I basically changed my whole life for the next 10, 15 years to, to be part of the industry. The atmosphere here, I think, is slightly unique in the sense that we consciously made it a little more informal than with your traditional restaurants. There's no black lacquered wood anywhere. There's no gold dragons hanging on the ceiling or any red wallpaper. It's just about being light and almost kind of like a tapas kind of feel to it. So our dishes are purposely made so the portions are slightly smaller to allow our guests to try a a wider variety of dishes when they come. Tasting menus are, are quite good in kind of elevating a restaurant's cuisine and allowing guests to sample lots of different items on the menu. Our particular menu is focused around a journey around China. So it's 10 courses, 10 uh, regions of China, and for each region, I've picked out a dish which reminds me most of that particular region. So, you know, Hong Kong, for example, the, the most staple food in Hong Kong that we know in London is dim sum. A lot of people automatically think that dim sum um, is widely available throughout the whole of China, but in fact it's something very, very specific to Hong Kong. So we have that as one course. We travel around to Xinjiang, which is on the western part of China, uh, which is Muslim by religion, which is very unique in that most of China is not is Buddhist or Catholic now. Um, and so they, they don't have pork which is very unique again. So they use a lot of lamb, a lot of spices, and their, their kind of cuisine is, is very, very different to any other part of China. We have a very cosmopolitan team, you know, from all over the world. A lot of them, their understanding of Chinese cuisine isn't necessarily, you know, particularly thorough, um, but their, their understanding of cooking is very thorough. So it's about finding a balance between one and the other to create something I think. So whenever dishes come along the first thing is I will obviously come up with the idea and then it just goes round and everyone kind of throws in their 50 pence worth of input of what they like, what they don't like and then we come to a general consensus of what we think is best for the guest. So dishes that have been on the menu since we opened and haven't been off, we have a, a Shanghai dumpling. The heart of it is very very traditional so we have a, a pork stock jelly wrapped in with meat and some Chinese chives that's wrapped into a pastry. But what we do here is that instead of having a vinegar dip, we inject the vinegar dip into the dumpling, and then we serve that with some lightly poached tapioca pearls and some pickled ginger. That is as close as it's gonna be, I think, to a dish that I'm really, really proud of and that would take a lot for me to take it off the menu. It's had a slight little twist on it that makes it a little bit fun, makes it a little bit lighter, I think that kind of exemplifies what we're trying to achieve in the restaurant.